Welcome back to Monday Night Raw tonight in your main event. It is a grudge match a couple of weeks in the making. The man who was paid off by Randy Orton will go one-on-one -on -one with Matt Riddle, the WWE Champion looking to settle the score with the street champ, Riddle Sokoa, tonight on Raw. And also coming up later this evening, it is an eight-woman over-the-top rope battle royale to determine the number one contender for the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka's WWE Women's Championship. Who will be the last woman standing and who will stand across the ring from the Empress in Vancouver at Vengeance? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to last week. In the main event, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus one-on-one -on -one with the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. And as you'll see here a moment, Sheamus forced to tap out to the straight jacket by Karrion Cross. But the reason we discuss this is actually events that took place after Monday Night Raw went off the air. Sheamus had went through the curtain and cameras caught up with this ambush in the backstage area by none other than the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. And although we haven't heard from Seth Rollins since, we got to put two and two together. Remember, Sheamus defeated Seth Rollins in the Backlash qualifying matchup a couple of weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. And seemingly the Messiah of Monday Night Raw has not forgotten about that. This is again after the events of Sheamus and Karrion Cross last week. Cameras catching up with this ambush in the back. And watch as here, Seth Rollins putting Sheamus right through a table and to the concrete floor down below. I've yet to get an update on Sheamus. We know he's not here this week in the building home resting those obvious, I assume, injuries. But nonetheless, Seth Rollins is here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who Sheamus took under his wing, his new protege, one half of the Brawling Brutes, Ridge Holland. This should be a great matchup. Our first singles look at Ridge Holland tonight on Raw. And Seth Rollins may have picked a fight with a couple of enemies he may not be able to withstand inside of that ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it was a couple of weeks ago, right here on Raw, Seth Rollins went one-on-one -on -one with Sheamus in the main event. And on that night, it was Sheamus defeating Seth Rollins and punching his ticket to that five-man elimination matchup at Backlash. Seth Rollins this is his first time we have seen him inside the squared circle since. And after that ambush that Rollins put on Sheamus after Raw went off the air last week, you gotta believe the visionary has not forgotten. Former World Heavyweight Champion, dominated on Friday Night SmackDown for months. And it's because of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus that Seth Rollins, now a part of Monday Night Raw, things have not gone his way just yet. But nonetheless, Seth Rollins set to go one-on-one -on -one with Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds. Ridge Again, this, was, this will be our first singles look at Ridge Holland since Sheamus took this young man under his wing, former NXT talent, and now known as one half of the Brawling Brutes. Sheamus again, not here in Salt Lake City, Utah this week. Ridge Holland going in alone and looking to do one good for his mentor, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, after that ambush last week. What a great night of action is going to be here on Raw Solo Sokoa. One on one with Matt Riddle in the main event. Of course, remember back a couple of weeks ago before Backlash, Solo Sokoa paid off by Randy Orton to ambush Matt Riddle in the backstage area, nearly ending Matt Riddle's damn career on that night. Luckily, Riddle survived. Riddle got through hell in the cell at Backlash, but he still, in his words, has a score to settle, and that is with the street champ Solo Sokoa. And we will see those two men lock horns in your main event tonight in Salt Lake City. We are underway here at Ridge Holland and Seth freaking Rollins. And we want to remind you the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, May the 14th, Vancouver, Canada, for WWE Vengeance, where the man we just discussed, Matt Riddle, will defend his WWE Championship against the new number one contender, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Cannot wait to get to Vancouver. Backlash was a hell of a pay-per-view event just eight nights ago, and... I'm sure Vengeance is going to up the ante even more. 
Seth Rollins takes Rich Holland into the corner here. And for Rollins tonight, this is about getting back on track. Rich Holland's trying to do one good for Sheamus, but Seth Rollins wants to stomp through Rich Holland and move past the issue in his mind with the brawling brutes. And you got to think for Seth Rollins, you know, it was a year ago at this time, in the midst of a number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship, that Seth Rollins lost to Mustafa Ali right here on Monday Night Raw. And that loss really sent the visionary of WWE into a spiral all summer. Multiple losses to Mustafa Ali. And it wasn't until Rollins got drafted to Friday Night SmackDown that he was finally able to turn things around. Of course, Rollins became the World Heavyweight Champion, held that gold all the way up till WrestleMania back in February. And then Rollins, of course, was drafted to Monday Night Raw. But you gotta wonder, is Seth Rollins in his own head? Looking at what happened a year ago, how he spiraled out of control after one loss slipped through his fingers. Rollins has to be careful that that does not happen again. Do not let that loss to Sheamus get to him. But obviously Rollins has got his own vendetta in mind. Took out Sheamus last week after the cameras were off the air. Luckily we had some in the backstage area able to catch up to speed. And my goodness, Ridge Holland just mowing over the visionary there. Sent him into the sky. And that sends him down to the canvas again. Ridge Holland out to do one good for his mentor, Sheamus. And Rollins getting the shoulder up. But Ridge the Fridge coming out strong here. Rollins trying to unload on Ridge Holland. There's a big boot by the Visionary. And Rollins working over Ridge right now. Remember Seth Rollins, as we mentioned, World Heavyweight Champion on Friday Night SmackDown from... December the 9th of last year till February 25th at WrestleMania. Dominated the blue brand for months. Victories over John Cena and Dolph Ziggler. Originally won the World Heavyweight Championship in a four-way matchup that featured Drew McIntyre, Robert Roode, and again, the franchise John Cena. Rollins has been to the top of the mountain in recent memory. And Rollins wants to get back there. Sheamus might have cost him that victory a few weeks ago, but Rollins got to keep his head going, got to keep moving forward if he wants to get back to the top of, mount top of the mountain, excuse me, now here on Monday Night Raw. Rich Holland not able to capitalize on having Rollins off his feet there. And Seth back in control. Obviously the veteran in this matchup, Rollins has been at the top of the card. He's been at the beginning, and he'll take the fight to anybody he's in the ring with, whether you like him or not. Certainly don't condone the actions that Rollins performed on Sheamus last week after Monday Night Raw. But at the end of the day, Rollins is fully capable of putting that kind of whooping on anybody inside or outside the ring. Sending Ridge down into the barricade there, and Seth Rollins will have absolutely no problem raking up a count-out victory if need be tonight. Ridge trying to get to his feet, and again, this is his first matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Since aligning himself with Sheamus, Sheamus picking out this young man, Ridge the Fridge, Ridge Holland from NXT to be his new protege and become one half of this new Brawling Brutes unit. Ridge trying to get back into the ring, but Seth Rollins right there. Oh, there's a counter by Ridge. And will Ridge Holland be able to build momentum here? It's Salt Lake City, belly to belly, overhead throw, and down to the outside goes Seth Rollins. What a powerful maneuver by that brute, Ridge Holland, able to take Seth Rollins up and out of the ring and certainly has shifted the tides of momentum in this matchup. Ridge has got to get Rollins back in the ring, however. Taking out Seth again. And the brawl continues on the outside of the ring. Meanwhile, Seth Rollins, oh no, going for a neck breaker, but turns it around with a forearm to the back of the neck. And again, Rollins. Now on the apron, oh wait a minute. Eyeing up Ridge the Fridge. What has Rollins got in mind? Oh, looks like Seth Rollins just wanted to fake out Ridge Holland there. Oh, wait a minute, never mind. Crossbody over the top rope, taking out Ridge. Rollins one step ahead of this young competitor tonight. Seth Rollins almost toying with his opponent in that moment. Ridge Holland may be the less experienced man in this matchup, but he certainly has all the tools to be a success. 
powering up Seth Rollins, letting him eat the apron, and I'm sending him inside of the ring, and I can't believe I'm saying it, but the Visionary is in trouble right now here on Raw. Wait a minute, Rollins may be feeling a sense of urgency. Trying to steal the victory over Holland, not just yet. Almost had Ridge there. Tried to catch him with that roll up and walked away victorious. And here comes Ridge with another counter. Another blow to the back, making a dose. And Ridge sends Rollins up and over again. Ridge is throwing Seth Rollins around in this matchup. And Rollins has had no answer for the most part. Into the cover goes Ridge. Will that do it? Not just yet. Great matchup to kick us off here on Monday Night Raw. Ridge Holland hanging in there with the veteran Seth freaking Rollins. Look at this, muscling up Rollins. And a power slam, simple yet effective, out of one half of the brawling brutes. And now Ridge has got him up again. Rollins counters, goes behind. Now Rollins sends him into the corner. And what has the visionary got in mind? Oh, wait a minute. Ridge being sat atop the ropes here. And a Frankensteiner by Rollins. And Ridge is down and out. And Seth Rollins, one piece at a time, putting the puzzle together to win this matchup. Drops the elbow to the heart of Ridge. Into the cover. Will that do it? No. Ridge able to power Seth Rollins off of him. Barely got the shoulder up but nonetheless is still fighting in your opening matchup. What has Seth Rollins got in mind now? Oh no, Seth is looking for the pedigree and he hits it. And I don't know if there's any getting up from that. That'll do it. Ridge Holland tried to do one good for his mentor Sheamus. He tried to knock off the visionary in his first matchup here on Raw. Credit where it's due, he took the fight to Rollins, but in the end, to no avail. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, Seth Rollins picking up the victory tonight, shoving in the face of the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, who I'm sure is watching this match at home. And, oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute, Seth Rollins, Ridge Holland is down at ringside and Rollins has set his sights. Oh no! On one half of the brawling brutes and Seth is looking to send a message to Ridge Holland, Sheamus, and everybody in the Monday Night Raw locker room. The visionary ticked off about that loss from Sheamus a few weeks ago. Was able to pick up some new momentum tonight, but obviously the visionary of WWE is not done. Ridge is all kinds of dazed here, and Rollins going for a blow to the back of the head again. The match is over. Rollins got the victory, but he's still not satisfied until the visionary's done singing his own song. Need some help out here for Ridge Holland. He might be knocked out cold. We are back live in Salt Lake City for Monday Night Raw. And we got two men set to lock horns inside of that ring that, as we stated earlier this week, are in need of so much needed momentum. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Champa. Tommaso Ciampa, a former Intercontinental Champion. Most recently, it was one half of the World Tag Team Champions. But ever since him and Johnny Gargano fell at WrestleMania and were separated in the draft, things not going so hot for Tommaso Ciampa. Fell in the first round of the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship. And now is an opportunity to bounce back. But he's got an almighty force standing in his way. The almighty Bobby Lashley was one of the final two men in the five-man elimination match at Backlash to determine the number one contender for the WWE Championship. 
Unfortunately for Lashley, falling short to the Beast Incarnate. He survived an F5, but unfortunately was not able to be survived. Putting through a table did Lashley. But nonetheless, the former champion in his own right, always back in the ring, back to do business and looking to bounce back tonight. Lashley and Champa coming off recent losses and now an opportunity for both men. Something's got to give and somebody's going to gain some much needed momentum here on Monday Night Raw in Salt Lake City. Great night of action thus far between Seth Rollins and Reg Holland. I mean, unfortunately not with that post-match assault by Rollins, but nonetheless, still a great competitive matchup to kick us off here in Raw. Still a lot of in-ring competition to come. But nonetheless, Tommaso Ciampa, Bobby Lashley, the Blackheart versus the Almighty. Ciampa immediately taking Bobby Lashley off his feet and going for the quick cover here. Ciampa wants the victory early, but it's going to take a lot more to keep the former United States champion down. Remember Bobby Lashley hot off the heels of a run with the U.S. title on Friday Night SmackDown. Fell at WrestleMania to SmackDown's current champion, Gunther. And Lashley has certainly made an imprint on Monday Night Raw since arriving on the red brand. But Tommaso Ciampa looking to build momentum off the Almighty's behalf here. And Lashley just dropping Ciampa with that neck breaker. Now into the cover goes Lashley looking for the early victory. But if we know anything about Tommaso Ciampa, he might be cold hearted, but he's certainly as tough as they come. Tommaso Ciampa, when he arrived on the main roster last August, immediately targeted his sights on the Intercontinental Championship. Wait a minute! Bobby Lashley going uncharacteristic, high risk, high reward, over the top rope, just throwing his body and crashing down on Tommaso Ciampa. Bobby Lashley wants a victory and he wants it bad tonight. Absolutely insane maneuver out of Lashley. Never really see him take things to the sky, even inside the squared circle. Throwing caution in the wind, and it worked out. See Champa real slow to get back into the ring. Lashley gets caught with the DDT, however. Well, as we were mentioning, uh, before Lashley's just an insane dive over the top rope, Tommaso Champa, when he arrived in the main roster last year, immediately set his sights on the Intercontinental Championship, won it in about a month's time, and went on to hold that Intercontinental Championship for a couple of months. And then, of course, not too far later, won the World Tag Team titles with Johnny Gargano back on January the 1st of this year at the Royal Rumble. But now Tommaso Ciampa's all on his own again on Monday Night Raw and is looking to build some newfound momentum for himself. Can he get the job done against Lashley tonight? Lashley avoids Ciampa there. So has been back and forth ever since the bell rang a few minutes ago. Dominator by Bobby Lashley. And that may be all she wrote, but the almighty one not going for the cover just yet. I think Lashley wants to inflict some more hurt on Tommaso Ciampa. And there's the cover. Will that do it? Off the Dominator. And everything else that Lashley's thrown at Ciampa since the bell rang, but not just yet. Ciampa with the counter. Ciampa goes for the hangman neckbreaker now. And again, back and forth between Tommaso Ciampa and Lashley. Wait a minute here. Down goes Lashley, and Ciampa might have just caught him with the victory. No, Lashley gets the shoulder up off the double knees. Man, these two, these two men motivated as all hell tonight to get through this match with their hand raised high. I still can't get over that dive from Bobby Lashley a few minutes ago. If that doesn't tell you how desperate for victory Lashley is, I don't know what will. And somehow these two men, I know we're only a couple minutes into this thing, but they've been throwing haymakers as hard as they can figuratively and literally ever since we began here. And somehow they're still fighting. And Lashley able to avoid Champa's assault. You now grabbing him, throws him down with the belly to belly. Now it's Lashley being the aggressor. Here tonight in Salt Lake City on Raw. Down goes Champa again. A former US champ versus a former Intercontinental champ and Bobby Lashley, eyes are locked, cold hearted and centered. And there's a spear on Tommaso Champa into the cover. And Lashley picks up the victory 
here tonight in Salt Lake City. Well, that wasn't a long match, but it was certainly a great one to sit back and watch these two men, like Champer or not, like Lashley or not, threw everything in the kitchen sink at each other, and there was one man who was the better man tonight, and that was Bobby Lashley. Here is your winner. A big time victory for the almighty Bobby Lashley. And now that Lashley has got his hand raised high again, you gotta wonder what is next for the almighty. What the hell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's Pete Dunn. He's a he's attacking Seth Rollins. This brawl must have must have brawled out from, from the backstage area up on the stage. We haven't seen Pete Dunn since WrestleMania. And if my eyes don't deceive me, he looks like he's wearing brawling brutes colors. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm shocked to see this. Pete Dunn is in the building. Wait a minute. A bitter end on top of the stage. Pete Dunn, the bruiserweight, is back for the first time since WrestleMania. And it looks like he's trying to settle the score on behalf of Sheamus and Ridge Holland in brawling brutes colors. The Bruiserweight is back and he's making some noise in Salt Lake City. What a moment here on Raw. Well, the action continues here on Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander looks to bounce back after his loss against Shinsuke Nakamura two weeks ago, one-on-one -on -one with Shelton Benjamin plus the Defiant. L.A. Knight looks to continue his winning ways as he's set for a one-on-one -on -one affair against Elias. And the results of those matchups see Cedric Alexander getting his hand raised against his former tag team partner in Shelton Benjamin. And on the other side of things, L.A. Knight, two weeks in a row, two victories in a row, picks up the victory over Elias here on Monday Night Raw. We are back live in Salt Lake City and it is time to determine the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship of the World on May 14th, Sunday night in Vancouver, Canada at WWE Vengeance. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, your first of eight competitors in this eight woman over the top rope battle royal. Rules are simple. Get thrown over the top rope. Both feet must hit the floor to be eliminated. The last woman standing will go one on one with the Empress of Tomorrow. The dominating, intimidating, fearless Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship. As we mentioned, Sunday night, May 14th at our next live premiere event. WWE Vengeance. Alexa Bliss set for action, and here comes competitor number two. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Well, Natalia would certainly love to head to her home country of Canada and fight for the women's championship, but how is Natalia feeling? After the ambush by the Nightmare Rhea Ripley last week on Raw, cameras had caught up after the Judgment Day's victory over the Street Profits with the third member of that group, Rhea Ripley, who assaulted Natalia in the backstage area and unfortunately used a steel chair all over the body and forehead of the Queen of Hearts. Natalia has not forgotten, I'm sure, about that assault seven nights ago, but she's got to stay focused tonight. She can possibly get her hands on Rhea Ripley in this battle royal, but at the end of the day, the result is about becoming the number one contender, not necessarily retribution. It all remains to be seen. What goes down in Salt Lake City? And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. As Roxanne Perez makes her way to the ring, as we mentioned, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we are live Sunday night, May 14th. 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We are heading to the north, Vancouver, Canada, for WWE Vengeance. 
Roxanne Perez, a former NXT Women's Champion, now a part of Monday Night Raw. And what an opportunity it is for this young woman in her first matchup here on Monday Night Raw, possibly able to become the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship. Imagine Roxanne trying to take the fight to the Empress of Tomorrow. Hell of a match it could be. I don't know what the chances of the younger upstart and Roxanne Perez would be, but nonetheless, here comes a woman who would love to run things back in a one-on-one -on -one setting against Asuka, that being the man, Becky Lynch. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Remember back at WrestleMania, Becky Lynch went one-on-one -on -one with Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship, and she tapped out on the grandest stage of them all. And that loss has really done something to the psyche of Becky Lynch. She's changed up her look, she's changed up her attitude, and this is a whole different Becky than the, the woman, excuse me, who fought Asuka in WrestleMania. Becky, of course, was one of five women in that five-woman elimination match at Backlash eight nights ago. And she came up short yet again in her pursuit to become the women's champion. But tonight is another opportunity for the man. Could Becky Lynch become the number one contender and finally have that one-on-one -on -one WrestleMania rematch that I'm sure the man has been lying and waiting for each and every night, dreaming about going one-on-one -on -one again with Asuka. And here comes competitor number five, another NXT former superstar in Cora Jade. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. More competitors on their way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Who will win the Battle Royal? We'll find out next. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We're back live in Salt Lake City, and we are set for the number one contender, Battle Royal. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, another one of the women who competed for the championship eight nights ago in Minneapolis at Backlash, unfortunately coming up short. And of course, Liv, a usual tag team partner of the goddess Alexa Bliss, but as those two women showed at Backlash, no strangers, I should say, not scared of going one-on-one -on -one with each other. An opportunity to become champions on the line, those two women, and quite frankly, any woman in the locker room will do any means necessary to walk away with the gold. And the mood has just changed as the nightmare, Rhea Ripley, representing the Judgment Day, has arrived here on Monday, Night Raw. Natalia's gotta be ready to get her hands on the Nightmare. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Well, Rhea Ripley, of course, as we mentioned, ambushing Natalia last week on Raw, but that all stemmed from two weeks ago here on the Red Brand when Natalia and Rhea went one-on-one -on -one, and Rhea Ripley was not able to put Natalia away and inevitably tapped out to the sharpshooter in that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Rhea not living down that loss, ambushing Natalia last week, as we mentioned, with the steel chair, and Natalia's got to be feeding to get her hands on Rhea Ripley. But again, Natalia's got to keep her head on straight. It's not just about retribution over the nightmare tonight. It is about becoming the number one contender. But is Rhea in the psyche of Natalia and possibly an easy step forward into becoming the number one contender for Asuka and the Women's Championship at Vengeance? All remains to be seen, but it is an eerie presence anytime the nightmare steps inside an arena. 
One more competitor to come. One of the most talented. One of the most exciting. And a possible future star of the women's division. Zia Lee. Your eighth and final participant in this over the top rope battle royale. The last time Zia Lee had an opportunity to compete for championship gold, you have to rewind the clock back to November, Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series. Zia Lee and the woman now known as EO Sky teamed up in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament Finals against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Obviously not going Zia Lee's way. The stage is set, ladies and gentlemen. Eight viable challengers for Asuka, but only one woman will move on to Vancouver, Canada on May 14th to challenge for the gold. And Asuka has been dominant for many months, for the better part of a year, counting both of her last women's championship reigns. But who will be next to step up and possibly be the one to dethrone the Empress of tomorrow? The eight-woman battle royal kicks off. We are underway. It's going to be chaos and anarchy as we would expect in this kind of a matchup. Again, over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor. You are eliminated. Last woman standing is on their way to Vancouver. It'll be very interesting to see how this matchup progresses, if there's any alliances formed, any targets made in this matchup, if you will. Natalia's got to have a target on her after that ambush last week. And hell, Becky, Liv, Alexa, Natalia, they all got to have targets on them. Half this matchup, if you will, because of competing just eight nights ago at Backlash to try to dethrone the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Nonetheless, eight women and one viable opportunity. Whoever goes on to vengeance to fight Asuka is certainly going to earn it here tonight. Leah Ripley working over Roxanne Perez right now. Certainly a David versus Goliath situation. And Liv Morgan taking out Alexa again. Those two women... May team up on occasion here in WWE, but not afraid to go one-on-one -on -one with each other when championship opportunities are on the line. Maria going after Liv right now, while Becky with an electric chair on Natalya. Roxanne Perez takes out Cora Jade. Those two former NXT superstars, now a part of Monday Night Raw, taking the fight to each other. There goes Cora. Roxanne Perez. Eliminating Cora Jade, the first casualty of the eight-woman elimination match. We are down to seven in just a matter of seconds. Becky taking Natalia into the corner. Will the Queen of Hearts be next to go? Will we be down to six? We're going to find out in moments here. And Natalia's out. Natalia eliminated by the man, Becky Lynch, and certainly not a... Good couple of weeks for Natalia. Coming up short at Backlash, the ambush by Rhea Ripley, and now tonight, the Queen of Hearts is gonna have to live to fight another day. And Liv eliminates her tag team partner. Has been eliminated. Liv showing us once again that she's not afraid to go through anybody to become the number one contender as she eliminates the goddess Alexa Bliss. Remember, Bliss was the last woman in that five Woman matched up at Backlash with Asuka. Asuka retained, and there goes Roxanne by way of Becky Lynch. Bodies are flying left and right. Casualties will be made all in the process of determining a new number one contender. We are down to four women. Zia Lee, Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, and Rhea Ripley. And Becky with a manhandle slam on Liv Morgan, and that may be ending her night in a matter of moments. Meanwhile, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley slams down Becky. Rhea going after Zia Lee now. What an upset it would be if Zia Lee can win this matchup. Definitely a dark horse in this eight-woman battle royal. Now down to four. Got that sleeper hold in on Rhea Ripley. Trying to get her dazed here, but I don't know if that's a smart idea when you're gonna have to muscle her up and get her over the top rope. And you see the four women in this matchup pairing off, at least for a second, Liv and Zaya, Rhea and Becky. 
And I'm sure the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, has got her eyes locked on this battle royal, watching in anticipation on who in her mind will be her next victim come Vancouver, Canada. Oh, and Zia Lee, nice spin kick there on Rhea, and Becky takes her out from behind, however. And now Becky, the only woman standing inside the squared circle right now. Rhea's down, Liv down, Zaya down, Becky going after Zaya Lee, takes her for a ride. Now Becky with a clothesline on Liv. And the man ruling the ring, at least for this moment. And she's got to keep it going, and she's got to get her opponents over the top rope. Becky already eliminated Natalia and Roxanne Perez in this matchup. Will we see another elimination out of the man? As Rhea's going after Zaya Lee right now. Obviously, the strength and size in the favor of the Nightmare. One third of the Judgment Day. And Becky takes out Rhea right there. And Becky again finds herself the only woman standing on her own two feet. All four of these women really trying to take a number on each other. At the end of the day, though, you got to get your opponent up and over the top rub to gain the elimination. But all four of these women right now just trying to inflict some punishment on the others. As Becky sends Rhea, Rhea able to dodge the ropes, but never mind. Becky Lynch with a huge elimination. The nightmare Rhea Ripley gone and out of here. And just in a matter of seconds, we are down to three. And Becky Lynch ruling the matchup with eliminations right now. I believe that is three eliminations total for the man as she is once again ruling the ring. Zaya's down, Liv is dazed. Becky Lynch may be one step closer to becoming number one contender. And a manhandle slam and Liv goes down again. Zaya back to her feet as Liv Morgan's unconscious in the middle of the ring. Becky Lynch may be looking for, I believe, her fourth elimination of this battle royal. Remember Becky back in January, she survived the Elimination Chamber matchup. That is how she punched her ticket to fight Asuka at WrestleMania. We've seen the man go the distance. We've seen Becky Lynch outlast others to become the number one contender. Will she do it again tonight? Or will it be Liv's night? Will it be Zaya's night? All remains to be seen. As Zaya Lee puts her sights on Liv Morgan and takes her out with the knee. If I was Liv and Zia Lee right now, Becky Lynch has been dominant. I would try to take out the dominant competitor, but obviously they got a different blueprint they're following tonight. Zia Lee sets her sights on the man, takes her over. Nice maneuver there. Will Zia Lee pick up the upset? Zia could be an incredible competition for Asuka at Vengeance as she takes out Becky Lynch there, but Liv Morgan eliminates Zia. And we are down to two. Zaya didn't see it coming. She had her eyes on the man, and Liv Morgan took advantage. And now Liv, springboard, drop kick on Becky Lynch. Zaya Lee is heading to the back. We are down to two. Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, who is going to vengeance? Becky's dazed on the ropes. Liv Morgan, wait a minute, her Karana, and we got a number one contender. What a performance in that last stretch by your new number one contender, Liv Morgan eliminates Becky Lynch in the eight woman battle royal. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan gets an opportunity to become the WWE Women's Champion, but this time it won't be a triple threat. This time it won't be a fatal five way. This time it'll be one on one, Liv versus Asuka in Vancouver, Canada on Sunday night, May the 14th for the WWE Women's Championship. Is Liv Morgan the woman to finally dethrone the Empress? Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight, Sami Zayn took to Twitter and he had this to say, after Brock Lesnar ruined my best friend Kevin Owens' chances to become number one contender at Backlash, I am hereby challenging Brock to a match next week on Monday Night Raw. As you can see, yes, I'm serious. That is what Sami Zayn said. I will redeem my best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it's been made official. Next week on Monday Night Raw, the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar is in action for the first time ever against Sami Zayn. I don't know what to think of this. Sami Zayn made his own bed and he might have to sleep in it next week on Raw.
And also, sorry for next week, the Intercontinental Champion Ilya Dragunov has issued an open challenge to the Monday Night Raw locker room, and the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. Who will fight Dragunov next week right here on Monday Night Raw? But as for tonight in Salt Lake City, it is main event time! The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa! You want to talk about coming to Monday Night Raw and immediately making an impact? Look no further than the street champ, Solo Sokoa. Already defeated R-Truth a couple of weeks ago, but most importantly, and the reason we are having this matchup tonight, Solo Sokoa paid off by the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, to put the hurt on Matt Riddle prior to Backlash. Of course, Randy Orton and Riddle barred from touching each other before the Minneapolis, Minnesota pay-per-view, or else there would have been serious repercussions. Randy Orton found a way around that, and of course, paid off that street champ, Sol Sokoa. And Sol Sokoa not afraid to get his hands dirty. Almost ended the career of the WWE Champion, Matt Riddle, which is raw, what, why, excuse me, the original bro is coming back for revenge in tonight's main event in Salt Lake City on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the WWE Champion, the original bro. Well, the last time we saw the original bro was eight nights ago in Minneapolis at Backlash when he finally ended a year-long story against his former best friend Randy Orton inside Hell in a Cell. And what a brutal showing it was. Matt Riddle not only retained the WWE Championship, but in victory banished his old friend Randy Orton from Monday Night Raw. What's next for the Viper here in WWE remains to be seen. He's been nursing injuries the last eight days. I'm not sure when we can expect the Viper back, but nonetheless, Matt Riddle still remains the man on the red brand, and he's got a score to settle with Sol Sokoa right here tonight. Let's get it started in your main event. I do not expect a wrestling matchup. Hold for hold, I expect a fight between the street champ, the former NXT North American champion, and the current WWE champion, Matt Riddle. This is about revenge for Matt Riddle tonight. And for Sol Sokoa, he saw an opportunity a few weeks ago, not only to take a paycheck from the Apex Predator, but to certainly make some noise. Upon arriving on the red brand, he did just that. Sol Sokoa is out to continue to make an impact tonight. And what better way to do so than with the victory over the current WWE Champion, and of course, the man who is set for a collision with the beast, Brock Lesnar, in just a couple of weeks, Vancouver, Canada at Vengeance. I can't believe the news we just found out about moments ago. Sami Zayn, I don't know if he's got a death wish or if he's the million dollar man with a plan, but Sami Zayn calling out Brock Lesnar to a match next week here on Monday Night Raw to, in his word, avenge his best friend Kevin Owens. Of course, that last week at Backlash eight nights ago, Kevin Owens was eliminated in the number one contenders matchup by the beast Brock Lesnar. And I don't know what Sami Zayn and KO got in mind, but Sammy will meet Brock Lesnar. Lesnar will be in action on Monday Night Raw next Monday night. Cannot wait to get to Raw next week and witness that main event. But nonetheless, Matt Riddle, Solo Sokoa going at it here at Salt Lake City as Solo takes down the WWE Champion. Solo dominated NXT for the better part of a year. As we mentioned, a former NXT North American Champion drafted to Monday Night Raw in the lottery back in March. Already gained a victory over R-Truth a couple of weeks ago. Now in his second matchup, he's already in the main event, and he's got the bear hug in on the WWE Champion tonight. Matt Riddle trying to break this hold here. He's been through worse. That's no knock against Sol Sokoa, but we saw what the WWE Champion withstand inside Hell in the Cell eight nights ago. Sent Randy Orton through the top of the Hell in the Cell structure, used a sledgehammer on his former WWE Champion. Matt Riddle has seen the worst of what could happen for the most part inside of that ring. We know he is as tough as they come, and so is, so is Solo Sokoa, which is what makes this matchup so interesting. 
Now Solo here able to avoid whatever Riddle had in mind. Whipping him off into the ropes and a stiff elbow by the street champ. Solo better keep his eye on the ball here and he takes out Riddle again. Solo Sokoa is an animal inside of that ring. An animal that's barely been let out of his cage and got a feeling there's going to be a lot of victims laying on the path of Sol Sokoa as he continues to move forward here on Monday Night Raw. Riddle not looking to be one of those victims tonight. Riddle remembers taking that fall off the ledge through the spotlight a couple of weeks ago by the hands of Sol Sokoa. Riddle came out on the other side. He settled the issue with Randy Orton eight nights ago, but tonight he's looking to settle the issue with Sol Sokoa. As Riddle stated on Twitter last week, paid off or not, the blood was on Solo's hands. And he's out for vengeance tonight. And Riddle's trying to get back into this fight right now. He may have caught Sol Sokoa weary. Now sending him over the top rope with the momentum, taking the street champ to the outside. The WWE champion, as we mentioned, not looking for a wrestling match tonight. He's out for a fight. Senton, and wait a minute here, Matt Riddle clearing off the announce table. Riddle's coming in tonight, hell bent on retribution by any means necessary. And look at these stiff elbow shots, gonna be careful, he might open up Sol Sokoa. Riddle no stranger to letting the blood shed. We saw Riddle rocking the crimson mask back in Minneapolis. Sol Sokoa sent to the barricade here as Riddle has really turned this thing into a Pier 6 brawl here in Salt Lake City. And now Riddle's on the top rope. Sol Sokoa going for a floating bro, but Sol gets out of the way. And that may have certainly turned the tides in this main event matchup. Solo heading back into the ring. Just trying to catch a breather in here from the onslaught of Matt Riddle. But Riddle, you see, he's barely on his feet, taking his time, going after Sol Sokoa here. Riddle took a hard fall moments ago, crashing and burning with that floating bro. Yet somehow the WWE Champion is still swinging. At the end of the day, I guess that's why he is the WWE Champion, because Matt Riddle has been to the depths of hell, and he's come out on the other side. And the road for Matt Riddle certainly not getting any easier. Sol Sokoa tonight, Brock Lesnar on the 14th of May. And that is what you ask for when you're the WWE Champion, when you're the face of Monday Night Raw. Referee's at a count of five right now. These guys have been brawling away for the last few moments. The announce table exposed by the WWE Champion. Referee at a count of six. Solo's heading back into the ring. Solo Sokoa wants victory tonight. Wait a minute, Matt Riddle pulling Solo back out to the outside. Breaking the count and the brawl continues. Riddle's obviously got something in mind for the street champ and Solo Sokoa feels it and is trying to avoid it here. Riddle eyeing up the announce table and Solo goes gut first on the table. And Matt Riddle just looking to use the exposed table as a weapon here. And what a shot, and Sol Sokoa goes down. Matt Riddle giving the fight of his life to Sol Sokoa. And you gotta wonder what's been the psyche of Riddle the last eight days, dealing with Randy Orton, finding out he will face Brock Lesnar at Vengeance. Now this matchup with Sol Sokoa tonight. It does not get any easier for Matt Riddle, yet the WWE Champion continues to keep fighting. Solo heading back into the ring. Riddle, however, on the apron, hangs him up in the top rope. Riddle does not want the fight inside of the ring right now. Matt Riddle has got something in mind, and I got a feeling it has to do with the exposed announce table. Riddle's just trying to taunt, excuse me, Solo Sokoa to the outside right now. And Solo, no, not afraid of a fight, gonna go after the original bro, and Matt Riddle turn him inside out. And it has been a hellacious, action-packed night here on Monday Night Raw. The return of Pete Dunne aligning himself with the Brawling Brutes in the fight against Seth Rollins. Oh, oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Matt Riddle's got Sol Sokoa up on the announce table, and Matt Riddle's looking for retribution. Tombstone pile driver through the announce table. Holy hell. Matt Riddle is fired up as all hell here tonight in Salt Lake City. Solo Sokoa somehow is getting to his feet. This guy is an absolute unleashed animal. 
Riddle putting him through the announce table. Somehow Solo is still weary. Back to his feet, but Riddle drops him with a knee. Matt Riddle is not done with Solo by a long shot. Bro, Derek, and that may do it. That may put the nail in the coffin of this matchup. No. How the hell did the street champ kick out? Solo Sokoa is an absolute unleashed beast inside of that ring. Riddle goes for the floating bro and nobody home. This has been a fight of all fights tonight. Not pretty. Just a bruising war between the street champ and the original bro. And Matt Riddle is absolutely coming unglued. Putting Solo through a table. The bro Derek. Somehow Solo's still fighting here. Takes out the WWE Champion. Solo Sokoa out to make an impact tonight, as we mentioned. Meanwhile, Matt Riddle looking for the pinfall victory here. Will that do it? No, Solo kicks out again. How the hell is Solo still fighting in this match? There's the kick by Riddle, and we know what comes next. The same submission hold that tapped out Randy Orton inside Hell in a Cell. And Solo's got no choice but to tap as well. Matt Riddle came to Salt Lake City with payback and retribution in mind. After putting the issues with Randy Orton behind him eight nights ago, he settles the score with Solo Sokoa. And now the WWE Champion can stay focused on his next challenger, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, on May 14th at Vengeance. The WWE Champion operating on a higher level than most. And Matt Riddle on an absolute... Oh, wait a minute! The Beast incarnate! The number one contender for the WWE Championship. Brock Lesnar is in Salt Lake City! Lesnar will compete next Monday night on Raw against Sami Zayn with Kevin Owens in his corner. But Lesnar is in the house and he's marching his way towards the ring and towards the man he meets on Sunday night, May the 14th at Vengeance for the WWE Championship. I got a bad feeling about this. Riddle just got to the fight with Solo Sokoa and now Brock Lesnar has hit the ring. The brawl has ensued, and Lesnar's looking to make some noise ahead of vengeance. Matt Riddle just got done a fight with Solo Sokoa, and now he's feeling the wrath of the Beast Incarnate. F5 to the WWE Champion. Brock Lesnar sending a message to the original bro. Oh, wait a minute, he's not done either. Lesnar has got Riddle up for a second. F5! Lesnar has arrived in Salt Lake City and he sent a message to the man he meets in the main event of Vancouver. And he's going up for a third! F5 to the WWE Champion! Message sent! Brock Lesnar's coming for the WWE Championship at Vengeance! Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.